Because I, I think schools need to re-envision themselves as community hubs. That's actually one way that I recommended to the Joint Select Committee, that schools need to be refashioned and be seen as community hubs where parents are coming in the afternoon to take um, computer, computer literacy classes, where like a granny could come in during the day to help out do some courage. She retired, she can come and walk the corridors and say, hey, go in your classroom, you know. And so, as you mentioned, there should be an inventory because although my mom wasn't that educated when she dropped out of school, she still had a particular skill set. And she totally could have of helped out in certain ways because my mom is very assertive and she could have do lots of fun. She don't mind begging for money. So <laughs> she yeah, all right. And, and, and begging for money is very important. It's very important. It's very important. It is very important. And I just I see I see parents when they come to the school and they only come in when the child is in trouble. And so, obviously, you're also disincentivizing it's parents from being involved. It's funny, they don't involved. even come in to drop off anymore. They kind of like, they, they, they don't come out of the car. Right. Even the ones that are taking taxi, they drop you by the gate and you walk right. in. I mean, I've seen that and I go, this is crazy. This is and, and so, and I agree with you 100%. We do need to figure out how schools need to transform themselves. And I think the whole issue of culture, of creating a culture within a school is very important. So all schools in Trinidad need to sort of come back to the table and say, what kind of culture do I want to create in my school? But you spoke about um, community. Right. And, and I'm going to give community. you a real, a real example about right. how schools have been taken out of community. Okay. Neighbors do not want schools being built in communities. That is, I mean, I've gone through that, you know, two years ago, it was in the news, you know, where residents were fighting for a school that was being put up. And they said, you know, we don't want schools in the community because it causes traffic, it causes noise. And so now we want to put schools on the outskirts where, you know, when you think about it, in all developed areas, you choose your neighborhood based on the school, you know, because everybody's walking to school and you have the school buses and it, it's a community. But now we don't want schools in our community and it just shows how well, much that, means, that culture is Well, that is means gone. we're going backwards. We are if that, going if that's, backwards. If that's, what it, if that's what is happening I've experienced now. it firsthand. Um, because in the, in, the, in the first world and in other parts of the world where children are being connected, where we talk about families are connected to communities, children are connected to families. Similarly so, schools are connected to communities as well. So there's no way that they're separate and apart from each other. Um, and so that particular trend has to stop immediately. Um, and that is something that should be aggressively stopped. But the culture piece, I think, is critical in that students and, st and, and parents and teachers need to come together within the context of a school. And each school needs to figure out what is that culture that they want to create in a school where communication is free, where relationship building is free, mm -hmm. where the whole issue of conflict resolution. They need to have some kind of standardization within the school system, in each school, around how they're going to deal with parents, how they're going to work in partnership with parents, how they're going to work in partnership with students. How our teachers are going to be able to communicate among themselves and between each other, all those things need to be worked out. So there needs to be a framework um, of culture. How do you create that culture change in a school as it relates to all the things? And then we'll, we'll, well, we'll, 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 yeah, and we'll link that to school violence in a minute. Speaking we'll of cultural there. shift, um, our society is a rather exclusionary one. It's top down and it's exclusionary. So the approach to building a school in a community should start from not government saying we're going to build a school here, but how about one, do you want a school? And two, what kind of school would you like? What kind of things would you like to see in a school? So already you are co-opting that sort of oppositional energy to the school in the first place. What do you want a school to look like? What kind of things you want in this school? Get some community buy-in. Get people to help build this school mm -hmm. so that they own it. Because often when people are not part of the process, they don't have ownership. And that goes for almost anything. But if you have ownership, then you are invested in that model, in the institution, and its sustainability.